Well, that's funny. Falls <laughs> are dead on mine all over the hole. Fourteenth hole here, Brano Heights. This is a cool hole. A um, little par four, and just the bunker on the left is easily in play. One of them out there on the right, the bo these boys can get over. Um, drive a wedge though, if you had a good drive. It's a good swing. Thanks. Yeah, those are better. Much better. The arms moving with you, not being behind you. Yeah. And just having. It's easy just to kind of, you're taking it back shorter and it feels like then you got, chest just goes way out in front. Yeah. Easy to then be late and have to save it, but. That's Thank a, you. That's a good lesson. And you know, for people, you know, who are looking at, a lot of our younger players, we, we have them do this all the time. You know, I asked Billy how far it was. He said 126 of the hole, 112 to carry the bunker. You know, finding that edge of the bunker or trouble short that you're hitting in line with the bunker. I mean, cause we're, we're going for this pin here. This is, you know, a wedge for us. We're definitely going to be going for this pin, so it's important to know what your carry distance minimum minimum is, and how much room you have in between. I'm looking at either a 50 or wedge. Um, right here, just yeah. a little down one. I actually like you taking the lesser of the two. Yeah, cause I don't. I I think it's a little firm out, and, and I wouldn't even try to be hitting it crazy hard. I would just take your norm, same normal backswing. Yeah. Shorter. Mm-hmm. Solid, just a little left. It's a good swing, so it's just a matter of, you know, the wind being out of the right and you just aiming far enough right to actually get that online with the hole. My divots are pointed at that white tree past the, so that means my face is shut. Yeah, I mean, you know, one thing that I was telling you about yesterday when you set up to the golf ball, when you set when you set up to it, yeah, I go like that. You you do like and, it, and you kind of like you do it like as you're setting up to it. Sometimes you just have to just open that baby up just about a degree or two. And you know, we know what happens too is like visually when you look down, like put the club down there. If you have any forward press to the shaft, and the face is still square to the target, that's shut. That's shut. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. So okay. maybe I just start with. It's start, slightly start with, yeah, I mean, it, it should. From where, from where your shot was, that was what we were talking about yesterday with those wedges. I said, dude, you can pretty much hit every single one of those and not have to worry. Just opening it a degree or two, yeah. it's not really open. It's just, even if it was, it wouldn't be an issue for the shot. Right. Because it would just, you know, you're turning through the golf ball, be more aggressive, not have to fear just overturning it a hair, you know? Yeah, totally. Those weren't bad swings. It's just, you know, the, the face was just a hair shot. You know, the wind also is, gets on the side of that. And then but that's the difference between that shot being five feet and 20, you yeah. know? To just go through, let's do everything the same here, okay? Okay. I'm setting up, I'm, you know, just a little right of the pin. And then I guess just open the face a bit. Does that look normal? It does, 100% normal. Yeah, I just feel like it's a little open, perfect. Not unbelievable. Yeah. Literally just had those things. <laughs> just <laughs> that's that is funny. We were talking about that yesterday on the golf course. He got out there first couple shots he hit. Just he hit him really well, you know. And his divots are all straight. And, and I look at him like, dude, you're just you know he holds it. Just, it, it sometimes people have this tiny bits of forward press, but if the face is still pointed at the target when the shaft's forward press, that's that's actually a shut club face. Well, that's funny. Falls <laughs> dead on mine all over the hole. Nice job, bud. That's <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Not funny. Uh. Yes, it is. Oh yeah, absolutely. And dude, that literally just that little adjustment, I hit those right on a line, and so pure. And so pure. Just like the other ones were, though. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Both were really pure. It's just those. I mean, those are really good golf shots right there. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Same thing. Are those arms moving ahead of you, okay? Swing them freely past you. Just 
So here, what's the goal on this one? It just be like real smooth, real short, and then and then and then go after it. I feel like the arms and and, and body go together. So yeah. Stick with the same plan. Yeah. That was a good swing. Not far off there. That was a pretty good swing right there. Yeah. yeah, that was, your back swing stopped like right in the right spot right there. Like you had zero extra right. action at the top right there. We were, you know, a lot of times what we use that golf course session for is feedback, right? To be able to see exactly where we're at. Irons, we both agreed fine, we've got that figured out, we know what we're doing there. And what we talked about was we're not gonna change the plan, but we need to come and hit a lot of golf balls doing what we did earlier today. Now Gabe, remember what we did earlier today? We hit a lot of short swings where we attacked the problem by doing chest high swing after chest high swing and really just accelerating from a shorter position. What that did is it took all the left out of his, out of his game. So what we're doing is we're coming back here and we're just gonna commit to the shorter swing more and not change the plan, get back out to the golf course, you know, again, and keep doing it until we feel good about it. But, you know, a lot of inconsistency for many golfers comes from the jumping in the thought process of what it could be, this, that, and the other. It's like, hey, here's your setup, let's get that squared away. Number two is then, when you know something works and you've seen it work enough times and you just know that it's what you need to work on, Keep attacking it. Keep figuring out drills that are going to make it repetitive as well. <sighs> the other part of it too was um, my, my uh, my, my dad, he was, there was one day when I was hitting my driver, like I was, wasn't like driving it great. And I remember like, it was like one day that definitively made me a lot better of a driver. And he just said, hey dude, today we're gonna go to the range and you're gonna hit 150 drives. And we're just gonna do the same thing better the whole time, you know, and just, it just, it just made such a difference. Never forget just finding the right thing, something simple, was able to just, once you find, once you find it and you get that feeling, Really hit this. Thanks. Every single time, every time, I take I take this out of somebody's hands. And I'm, I'm not I'm not endorsing Callaway at all. I'm just I, I'm this on this at all. You don't have to even put that on any of that on there. I'm just trying to say. Every time, this golf club flies such a tighter line and so much straighter. This one, when you get a little off, it's not about like, it's not a, I've never seen more center contact shots have knuckled off ball flights that, that it's not just him though. It's every single person I watch. Guys, we'll get going in a few minutes, okay? okay. All right. What were we gonna say about the driver game? I mean, I just haven't liked that driver all day. Dude, it, no, 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 I'm not just like. Here's the thing. It's it's hard to have the talk. The person always thinks it's them. A lot of times, when you're at least not always actually, but in Billy's case, you know, he's he's always gonna believe it's him. It's I'm the same way. And, and back to Pops, my dad was really good at this stuff. He always made it very clear to me that, hey dude, there's, it gets to a point to where certain, certain shots should not be happening, and that's only as a result. That's not your golf swing necessarily. I watch enough golf swings every day, and you trust me, to where I'm like, dude, some of those swings are not producing that poor of ball flights, okay? That right there needs to be addressed because that golf club is not spinning correctly 
even the misses, even when you're miss hitting it, it shouldn't be knuckling the way it is. Yeah. And it's an important thing, and it's an important lesson. Like when I'm watching you hit this one, here, hit one more of this one. It's 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 just it's a tighter flight. Even the one that you just hit that stayed up there, it was just it stays straighter. Go ahead yeah. and hit it again. But there's something about the head that I have never said this in any lesson. Ever. Ever. Yeah, a lot better. Yeah, let me see that. Mm -hmm. It's just really interesting. I just don't think the club is 100% fit to his specs. I'm not blaming the TaylorMade. I'm just, it's not, the, the club's not fit to him. And the club head might not be right for him. See that? Very knuckly again. Very knuckly. It's just, it's exactly the same exact swing. It's the head is not right for you, Billy. And I'm probably, I'm, I'm being, I'm, I'm being serious. So did you see that ball flight right there? The same exact swing you made on the previous three swings, same exact angle. And that one goes like this. Yeah, it did. Versus the one that goes like this. You should go over and hit some more with that one right there. And thank you guys so much for watching our video. Any questions or comments you have, please leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos. We appreciate you guys. Enjoy our channel.